problem with you, Electoral Commission, I think it's shameful that you charge the media to cover the elections. We are not, we are not a very sincere people. We like to cover things up. It's just like state protocol asking journalists to pay money to cover the 6th March independence anniversary. I don't think it's a very good thing you've done. Sadly, we won't talk about it. We'll push it under the carpet. But you're denying journalists the right to report the truth and um, situations as they happen to people. I don't think it's a smart thing to do. I don't know why as a journalist or as part of the media here we should pay money to cover elections that have to do with that. If you listen to our brother from South Sudan, if we're not careful, we will end up reporting disaster. Little things like what the Electoral Commission has done to us as journalists is what starts these small, small things. What is 10 CDs to you from a journalist? What is 20 CDs to you from a journalist? We've done it since 1992. Why are you charging us? Because you want us to pay for accreditation? What is accreditation? A piece of paper with our names and lamination, and we have to pay for it to cover elections that have to do with the future of this country? I'm not very happy as a media person. It's my opinion. You may disagree with me. I know you have a story. And then also, I'm very happy that the Nima police commander was here. Sir, he was right in your territory only a week ago. But you're here. You're telling us. And the police service is very prepared. And we are going to tell that. It happened in your backyard. What did you do? But you leave us journalists to report on these things. And all of us are afraid to speak up. Why? Let's speak truth to power. All the time. If the police has a station at Nima, close to a flag bearer's house, and what happened, happened. And the President of the Republic is blaming the police. And the police have said nothing. But they are assuring us that if anybody does anything wrong, we will clamp down. You will clamp down? It happened next door. You did nothing. You did nothing. If anything had happened, those of us here, most of us media people, would have been responsible for reporting it. And this person is bleeding, and this person has died, and this person has done that. And if we misreport it, then they come and blame us. Oh, the media is too sensational. Who causes the sensationalism? If state institutions will work the way they're supposed to, I'm sure that we would also do our work the way we're supposed to. So much as we appreciate, we acknowledge that what you're doing, electoral commission, the police, without the police we can't survive. But please, let's speak truth to power. Let's tell them that, listen, do your stuff, we will do ours. But don't come into functions like this and give us rhetoric. When you do that, you put us in a very tight corner. We will write the stories. I'm sure Graphic will report it. It's live on the GTV. It's live on TV Africa. Everybody is watching. And everybody says, oh, your media is the fourth estate of the realm. You have to behave yourselves. But those of you who are in charge of ensuring that these things happen, please, play your part. National Commission on Civic Education. You don't have money. You complain to us in private. You are standing here. You don't have money. <laughs> you don't have money. It's two weeks to an election. Anybody tell me, have you seen anything from NCCE? Have you? What is this hypocrisy and dishonesty that we are all pushing? The NCC is a state organization that is supposed to educate us on our rights and all of that. It's two weeks to an election. They haven't put one single advert out educating the public on how we should even vote. Have you seen it? You have? Where did you see it? Banned. Where? There's social media, there's traditional media, there are people on the streets. A band? How many people can read? You work with the NCCE? Well, I haven't seen anything. I've been lucky enough to cover elections from 1996. Kojo says I should shut up and get out. So, Kojo says I'll shut up and get out. But truth be told, let all of us, the media people for which Media Foundation for Western Cars brought us here, let's speak truth to power. It's my admonition to all of us. Let's speak truth to power. Let's tell them that yes, we'll cover you. Let's tell them that yes, we'll report on you. But let's also tell them like the uh, Electoral Commission, you're not fair to us. We shouldn't be paying to cover elections about our country. 
It doesn't make sense. Let's tell NCC, you don't have money, you're not working hard enough. Let's tell the police, we want to trust you. We want to believe in you. But give us a cost to do that. Let's tell the police, if it's Kwame Sefa Kaya, you want to slap, slap him. If it's German Church, you have to slap him. So that both ways, we know that whatever you do here, you do here. But don't let us do it as if it's because A is here and B is there. I'm very scared about what my brother from South Sudan said. It may sound like a story, but for those of us journalists here tonight, go and Google sometime in April. All of us saw the story about Hotel Rwanda. I think it's a beautiful story. Go and find sometime in April. If that story doesn't scare you about Rwanda, nothing else would. I believe that as a journalist, I'll play my part. I want to speak on behalf of my colleagues. I think we will all play our parts. For, for those of you from state institutions, let us trust you. Thank you all.